I took a look around the Selden Mast Factory with Richard Thorogood from Selden to find out a bit more about how this, the carbon tow, the reels of carbon, become these, the mast that we use when out sailing. So everything we produce at Selden in our carbon range is done from a wine file uh, and the wine files control this stuff, uh, pre-impregnated carbon tow. Um, whether it is a repeat product that we've made thousands of, things like J70s, Musto skiffs, Ilka composite top masts, uh, everything is from a wine file and everything is from this tow. All of our yacht product is pretty much custom. We can control the wine file for the bend characteristics of the spar, for the weight of the spar. We can uh, cross mix with um, glass fibre uh, to keep costs or weight uh, in control. And everything is designed here in house with our technical team. Watching the winding process is mesmeric as the machine travels up and down the rotating mandrel, creating each mast to a specific pre-programmed design. We get to see the finished product out on the water, especially when a clear finish is applied, but watching the process of their construction happening is fascinating. Uh, so there's many different processes that go on with the construction of our carbon spars. What we've got here rotating is our aluminium mandrel. We coat this in a releasing agent and then what we do is we lay e-glass patches anywhere that we're going to cut or drill or fix anything to. We then layer a 90 degree hoop for a bit of integrity and then what the machine is doing here is laying down the carbon toes all on the spools and that is laying them to the, the wine file that we talked about earlier. Um, and the designers program it whether it's going to be 45 degrees, 12 degrees, 90 degrees and again, again that comes down to that custom profile that every spa goes through. Everything is laid under tension in the same way that uh, reinforced uh, steel concrete is made. Uh, everything is done under tension so when it's baked it is as rigid as we need it to be. The spars are then cured in the autoclave which is an exceptionally long pressurised oven and then removed from the mandrel using a hydraulic puller to extract the aluminium tube from the inside of the carbon spar. This is the moment they find out whether the releasing agent has worked. Then the spar is ready for finishing with either the natural carbon look or painted a colour. All are treated with an ultraviolet inhibitor to prevent UV damage. Carbon head boxes, boom brackets and bang brackets are then moulded on by hand. The team at Selden can produce some pretty exotic shapes including custom projects and specialist reefing booms. This is our, our Y boom. Uh, with these we, round, we wind carbon in the normal process around the mandrel. Uh, so the boom is the structural part and then the wings on it to enable a good flake when you're lowering your sail. The wings are non-structural, they consist of foam and glass and they're built up and shaped and then everything is fared in and beautifully sprayed up in the booth. So, next time you're on the water, take a look at who made your mast, boom or spinnaker pole. If any of the spars are carbon and made by Selden, you now have a better idea of what goes into making them.